Marie from Celestial Forecasts with your love reading. I do have a few announcements before we get into it. So if you want to go ahead and fast forward to the start of the reading, that's totally fine. And I will timestamp these down below since we're going to be breaking it up between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine energies, okay? So definitely check that out. It's in the description box. All right, so anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk about a few things before we get started. So for those of you that don't already know, we have started a Twitch page. So definitely follow us there if you're interested in attending any future live streams, similar to what we do on the YouTube live streams, but we now have my daughter with her own page where she's going to be able to get purchases for those readings and we're separating them. So the first half of the live stream will focus on her being able to interact with you guys and uh, giving you the opportunity to ask questions. If you have any questions, we're going to be offering 5, 10, 15 or 20 minute reading options. It, of course, doesn't have to just be about love, romantic relationships. It could be about anything. The 15 minute and 20 minute readings will allow you to ask up to two questions. And again, it could be about anything. So we're, as I've mentioned, going to split it up where she does her thing for about an hour or so just to be able to give you guys the chance to book your reading ahead of time. And that way, once I'm live, we're not having to worry about who wants a reading, how do you pay, and all that information. We've already taken care of all of those details during my daughter Cameron's live stream. I'll have all of that information down below in the description box. And we've announced it on Instagram, so there are posts related to that. Feel free to go ahead and check those out. Or you can always email us at celestialforecasts.com dot official at gmail.com. Again, I'll have that info down below for anybody interested, but definitely follow us, subscribe if that's something that you're interested in. Now, for those of you, again, who aren't familiar with the Twitch platform, and I'm just learning this as I go as well, since we're fairly new to it. So on YouTube, when you subscribe to a channel, Obviously, you're just clicking that subscribe button and you're good to go. On Twitch, it's a whole different format where you can follow someone, but if you want to subscribe, I believe there's a cost to it. So it isn't much. As far as I know, it starts at $4.99. I'll you know, provide that information down below again um, based off of what I find out, but I believe if you want to subscribe there, of course, we'd love for you to be able to do that so you don't miss any of the fun perks that we offer on Twitch and, uh, to be able to be able to watch live streams and all of that fun stuff. All right. So that's one announcement. And, um, for our YouTube live streams, we're going to try to offer those we're going to try for at least two times a week, but as we've already been doing, I'll go ahead and announce those way in advance. As soon as we know the details, I'll post it on the community tab here on YouTube and of course on our Instagram page. So if you don't already follow me there, my official account is The Celestial Forecast by Carrie. Just recently got verified on Instagram. So if you don't see the blue check mark, it's not me. Okay, so definitely make sure you are following my official page. There's a lot of scammers out there, as you guys probably already know. And the whole drama with the YouTube channel getting hijacked. So we're extra careful with how we do things nowadays. All right, guys. So I think that's pretty much all I needed to talk about. And of course, we'd love it if you like, share, and comment during this video. It definitely keeps our channel in the forefront of things. And that's pretty much it. Let's get into your reading. Hi there, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and get into some messages here for you. Taking a look at the energy for both the Divine Masculine as well as the Feminine. And I'll have a special section towards the latter half of this video towards singles messages okay 
general advice as always. So please keep that in mind throughout the reading and take from it whatever makes sense for you personally and release what doesn't. All right, guys, so I'll be starting with the masculine with these three decks, my exposed one, as well as my voices deck, both of these my self-created ones. And then we'll pull some cards from the Divine Masculine Revelations deck. That one is by Mystic Moon. All right, so let's begin. And let's take a look and see what's going on with the masculine currently. I do tend to say he or him for the masculine, but custom tailor it how it makes sense for you personally, gender-wise. Okay, so I'm just tapped into energy for both the masculine portion of this reading as well as the Divine Feminine. All right, so here we go. What's going on with the masculine currently? Angels and spirit guides, please, for Capricorn. Okay, so we have Courteous. Okay, that's a great card. Let's see if the surrounding cards are, are going to go together with that one or if that's something the masculine needs to work on. Let's see here. What else for the masculine current energies? We have coward. Okay. Let me grab one more here. And we have unhealed. So all sorts of energies coming through here currently on behalf of the masculine. Courteous, of course, is a really nice quality to have. But we also have coward and unhealed. So for some scenarios with the masculine, we might have a situation where they might have hurt you, Divine Feminine, or they just aren't able to be open and honest with you, too much of a coward to do anything about a situation or to speak up. They could have also had their own issues in the relationship. So let's go ahead and grab an additional insight here from the Revelations deck here. All right, let's see. We have regret. I wish I could take back the things I said, but they're too much of a coward. They're too comfortable hiding be behind this type of energy, perhaps, you know, and they're also coming through as unhealed. So I kind of feel this is a burden that this masculine has been carrying. Now, this is the next card. We do have craving. The thought of you still does things to me. But they're also not expressing that to you more than likely. For some of you, maybe there is no contact at this point in time. I'm getting this as well, as far as this combination of cards. You know, um, maybe there's something that they need to convey, something that they need to get off their chest but they're unable to take the high road here. You know, they're they're afraid to say something. And part of that courteous energy is maybe they're just trying to be nice and sugarcoat something. Um, or maybe they regret not doing that. They could have also been a little bit harsh with how they convey certain thoughts and feelings because we do have regret here. Something tied into something that they said. I wish I could take back the things I said. Interesting. And then bottom of the deck, we've got irreplaceable. I keep comparing others to you. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some words now from the voices deck, and then we'll clarify with some tarot. So some words from the masculine to give us a little bit more insight as to what's going on with them currently and why they said what they said, why they did what they did. But despite all that, we clearly see that they still want you. They're still drawn to you, Divine Feminine. And if part of what you guys endured with this masculine was infidelity of some sort or trust issues, they have come to find out that nobody can match up to what you guys had. Nobody compares to you at the end of the day. Look at this. All I need to move on is for you to tell me that you forgive me for hurting you. They clearly are unhealed from something that happened here between the two of you. Major regrets over perhaps some pretty harsh things that they might have said. 
if they want forgiveness, it's right next to coward, you know, so they're afraid to ask for this. It's like, please give me the opportunity to talk to you, to ask for forgiveness, to apologize. It ain't over till it's over, right? I want you back. I hope you feel the same way. For some of you guys, though, I feel that it is a done deal. And maybe there's a part of you, Divine Feminine, that either isn't interested in going back, or for some of you, maybe you've already moved on. Either you're in another relationship, or you're not interested in revisiting this. But we clearly have a situation with this masculine who wants to be a part of the feminine's life. Let's see what else. I can still taste your kiss, the passion in your touch, the heat between our bodies, the hunger that now goes unsatisfied because we are apart. It goes back to this, that craving that goes unsatisfied because they either can't have you or too much time has passed or you no longer want this person, possibly Divine Feminine. What else? What else? This is interesting. Marry me. This could either have been the path that you guys were on before where you really saw each other as potential people that could really explore long-term commitment by way of marriage, or this is what this masculine is now wanting, but too afraid to just say it already. That's this cowardly energy. Bottom of the deck, look at that, I still love you. Maybe you needed clarification on that, Divine Feminine, that this masculine still loves you. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some tarot. I'll be pulling from my Illuminated Star Tarot. This is volume two, which is in the process of being revised right now. So it's not available in my deck shop, but it will be soon. So I'll announce that, of course, once it's ready. All right, so still focusing on the masculine this is quite interesting, guys, because this flipped in the reverse. Okay, this is the Ten of Cups. It literally flew towards me, and then it fell onto my desk in the reverse. So this is the disconnection between the two of you. It can represent divorce. Now, with the whole marry me reference, some of you guys could have been married, but also are now separated where it's too late perhaps to try to work this out now because you guys are probably divorced at this point or legally separated but I have a feeling this masculine is struggling because you guys are not together regrets big time coming through here I feel they've got a lot to say but they're not saying it we do have the three of cups we also have the knight of wands there could have been a love triangle or a third party situation going on here but this could also be a very positive card depending on how it's coming through in a situation because this is also picking up off of the people in your life perhaps or in this masculine's life who could uplift them and bring happiness into their life especially if they're struggling right now because this can actually be a blessing for this masculine if the feminine really isn't interested in revisiting this partnership if there is no chance of reconciliation there's still love that can find this masculine it's just part of the issue for this person with the knight of wands showing up you know passionate fearlessness adventurous they're all about those adventures but they're also perhaps not the type that's ready to be able to settle down again or to commit to just one person. They're perhaps in a place in their heart and their mind where they just want to be able to explore and see what else they can encounter, you know, by way of other relationships, which is such a contradiction because if they're telling you here, Divine Feminine, I still love you, you know, I could still taste your kiss, I still crave you. So we might be dealing with a masculine who's on the fence. You know, it's like they want to be able to experience a new relationship, a fresh start, perhaps. 
when it comes to love, but there's also one foot that's stuck in the past, I feel. And perhaps Divine Feminine, if you represent that person who was with this Divine Masculine, there's a part of you perhaps that's picking up off of that energy that they still think about you, that they would still want to be with you, but they just aren't coming through with the right words or they're not able to verbalize it at this point because of this cowardice type energy. Hmm, interesting. Look at that. We've got the Five of Wands. We also have the Seven of Cups. So this masculine created a situation here, guys, where you were not on the same page. This can represent disagreements, competition, rivalry. So that for me confirms that there could have been infidelity or sneakiness or other people that were a part of this equation. And therefore, Divine Feminine, you might have closed the door on this partnership and we have a masculine who could certainly be sorry for what they did, but they also need to realize that there's no guarantee towards a reconciliation unless the feminine actually allows that to be a part of what's going on here. They could also be entertaining other choices, other options when it comes to love and romance. And that's what you got, what you guys got into and created drama. So if that's what was actually going on and the Knight of Wands can be a player type mentality, non-committal. So it's very difficult for this Three of Pentacles to come in and have you guys work together on this partnership. And then we do have the Seven of Wands, more challenges. You know, we have another reference to competition here. And perhaps they now realize that if they are to have a second chance at this love connection, maybe they're just hoping and praying that by not giving up, that this might have an opportunity to be revived. That's a possibility. But yeah, they, they've struggled on this journey, Divine Feminine, you know, with cards like the Nine of Wands, um, you know, maybe they're running into blockages when it comes to the situation with you. But I really feel from this masculine, they don't want to give up on the thought of coming back together with you. That's just what I'm getting. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some words here from this masculine. I'll be pulling from my Valentine Connection Oracle, and then we'll clarify with the Valentine Connection Tarot. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Capricorn, focusing on the masculine right now, their current energies and feelings when it comes to this connection. All right, here we go. Your touch lingers on my body, even when you're far away from me. So there's something about that Divine Feminine going back to this, you know, that craving that they still have for you, certainly in the physical sense. Look at this next card, distance or time cannot stop my love from reaching you. And perhaps you are actually feeling your masculine's presence or even their touch, maybe through your dreams. There could be astral travel. There could be telepathic communication going on here. I never knew true love until you. Look at this next card here. Please come back. I don't want to move on to love again. My heart has no room for anyone else but you. And then I miss being in your arms and maybe you guys both miss being with each other. So let's go ahead and clarify that and see what else we can learn here. So they miss you. They think about you. They miss your presence. And it is because of the connection with the feminine that they now know and understand what real true love actually is. You know, that's just a lesson perhaps that this masculine needed to learn. We have the Empress here. Okay, so Divine Feminine, there you are. You represent this beautiful person on the outside, on the inside. It does seem maternal influence. Now we remember how we ended up getting the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Divorce, struggling relationships. Some of you guys might have already had a child or a 
family together, okay? Shared a home together. Maybe you guys were truly happy at one point, but something clearly happened here. We do have the moon. You could also be dealing with a Pisces for some of you guys. Okay, this is illusion. This is deception. Things that are hidden. And so I feel part of the regret and unhealed energy from this masculine is because they were either unfaithful or dishonest with the feminine here. Here's again another possibility towards commitment, possibly marriage, and separations, unfortunately. And I really do feel that this is a masculine who still would love to have you be a part of their future, Divine Feminine, whether that actually happens or not. Again, it's a whole different ball game here. You know, we've got the Page of Wands at least bringing in or the expectation of hearing some sort of good news perhaps from you or the situation, Divine Feminine. I feel it's been a while since you guys have connected and talked and we have a masculine who wants so badly to be able to do that but they're just not opening up right now here we are again with the seven of cups so so many choices to be made here and i feel this is a masculine who knows that they're going to have to turn things around here in order for you guys to have a second chance and hopefully through this journey, they now know which of these cups to avoid, which ones to actually entertain and be open to those possibilities when it comes to this connection. Because they've already made poor choices in the past and said things that they shouldn't have said that could have been very hurtful and they regret that big time. That is what's coming through there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Divine Feminine energy here for you Capricorn but that's what we're getting when it comes to the masculine okay so I'm going to pull from my exposed two deck the many sides of the divine feminine what's going on with the divine feminine currently all right so you're coming through as a very caring person. Very giving individual. It could have been one of those situations too, Divine Feminine, where you gave too much to your masculine and they didn't reciprocate. Look at that broken. You were definitely hurt by this whole situation and you're coming through as a person who was faithful to this partnership but we might have a situation with the masculine where there were trust issues okay possibly a love triangle third party all right so i'll go ahead and grab from the moody moon messages deck honoring the cycle of the divine feminine by sister moon tarot let's find out a little bit more here All right, focusing on the feminine. Perhaps the feminines are in need of healing right now. And you're not opening up, up right now either, you know, but that could be because of how your masculine has closed themselves off to you. Not sharing how I really feel, secretive, and maybe... If you relate to this, you were both keeping things from each other, and that could have created drama, for lack of a better word here. We do have head over heels. You are the only one I want. You know, but I'm also feeling just based off of what we've seen, the masculine did not recognize that when you guys were together. And now they've got regrets. We do have connected, grounded, and spiritual. So regardless of time apart, you do still feel connected to your masculine. We have desperate. I can't take this anymore. I mean, look at the energy from the broken card. That makes sense for me. 
and then we have longing. So there is a part of you that is missing your masculine, longing for them to be with you, you know, wishing that they were with you. But at the same time, we have a masculine who's got a lot of convincing and work to do in order to be allowed back into your life. At least it's one of those situations where you should really make them work for it to not have an open door policy when it comes to your heart and to actually earn their way back in. All right, so let's grab some words from the Voices Volume 2 deck. This one is all about the feminine's perspective. So let's see. Angels and spirit guides, please focusing on the divine feminine's current vibe. All right. Look at this, guys. It sure hurts knowing that you're with someone else. And that was a reality for some of you. Infidelity. You couldn't trust them, perhaps. Wow. Wow. Once trust is broken, it takes so much to restore it, but I'm willing to give us another chance. We're worth it. So I feel this energy needs to be healed because there's a lot of pain that's circulating through here. And even though you miss your masculine, you would want to give them a second chance. I still feel this is going to take a little bit of time to get there. Let's see what else. Yeah, look at that. I'm giving you the silent treatment because there's nothing left to say. So even though there's a part of your heart that's willing to give this a second chance, right now you guys are just not speaking, you're not interacting, and you've got a masculine who's too much of a coward to speak up and come forward. I'm willing to put in the work to help our relationship grow and thrive again. But I can't do this alone. And that is so true. You can't. It takes two people working together. And that's where the teamwork actually comes in. Because that's a crucial part of this equation right here. So let's grab some tarot and see what else. I'll be pulling from my Celestial Cosmos tarot deck. Focusing on the feminine. All right, what else do we need to know? We do have the Four of Cups, you know, so I would, that doesn't surprise me, Divine Feminine. If you have your own regrets, if you've been depressed, if you've been anxious, possibly thinking that regardless of the fact that you would be willing to give this a second chance, that this is now a missed chance to try to work this out. The disconnection is here, but at the same time, you guys are energetically still picking up off of each other's vibes here. We do have the Ten of Wands. So this might have been a pretty heavy energy that you've been dealing with, Divine Feminine. I mean, you don't get to this place without feeling that type of heaviness. It's perhaps affecting your health or your mental state. It can be very difficult. Now, this is a Capricorn reading, and we have the Devil card coming through representing Capricorn. And so maybe for some of my feminines, you still feel bound to your masculine somehow. But that could also be the other way around, where they still feel bound and connected to you. But it could also be quite obsessive. It could be unhealthy. It could be like an addiction, you know, can't can't seem to stay away or can't stop thinking about it and nothing else matters that type of thing you know but this is confirmation perhaps divine feminine that you have already let this go because the hangman can certainly represent that letting go surrendering and just kind of turning it over to a higher power here and just focusing on your journey, making room for something else in your life or someone else in your life. I feel the time apart has been a blessing for the two of you in order for perhaps your masculine to appreciate your presence a little bit more and to treat you better with a second chance. We've got the Ace of Wands. We have the 
magician and this is confirmation that things fell apart and it could have ended abruptly or very painfully painful exchange of words arguments you guys were just tearing each other down maybe you know so there is a new beginning here for the feminine and this is the magician right next to it so we've got some signs popping up here gemini and virgo all right, so some of you guys might be interacting with a Gemini or a Virgo specifically, but we've got so many signs represented here. I mean, we've got cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and of course, wands representing fire, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. And then we've got Pisces coming through there. So I really do feel that when it comes to the feminine, it's not impossible for you to move forward and find love again. That's what you have the capability to manifest into your life. But for some of you, this might actually be the opportunity to bring things back together and have you be back in touch with your masculine and it could rekindle the partnership here. All right, but it, it definitely takes effort on behalf of the masculine as well. That's what's coming through from there. So let's go ahead and grab some dialogue messages from the feminine. I'll be pulling from my woman's intuition oracle. And of course, this particular deck is more geared towards divine feminine female energy. But custom tailor it again how it makes sense for you. It can be male or female. So whoever represents the feminine energy in this equation for Capricorn. Have you forgotten about me, about us? And the answer to that question, Divine Feminine, is no. Your feminine energy or your thoughts, when it comes to the masculine, they really do think about you often. And they're clearly wanting to fix this, but they're allowing their fears to get in the way. I love you. I want you. I need you. Okay? Okay. And so we've already seen this energy where I feel you both love each other still. But you guys encountered some very difficult moments here. You are my peace, my safe haven. And at one point in time, Divine Feminine, that was a reality where perhaps your masculine represented that serenity and tranquility in your life. There could have been chaos everywhere else, but when you guys were together, everything was fine. And then we have you can run, you can roam, but only I will feel like home. And we've seen references to infidelity here and trust issues perhaps for the connection and i feel that that's a revelation that the masculine has already figured out that you're the one that stands out amongst the rest divine feminine that's what's coming through there all right so let's go ahead and clarify these messages i'll be pulling from my tarot teacher this is the revised edition this is a great deck to use when you're wanting to learn tarot. It's got upright and reversed interpretation. So it takes the guesswork out of it, you know, and just makes it super easy. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius here, Divine Feminine. But this right here represents hope when it comes to such a difficult situation. And I love how we've got Faithful. And the star card represents having faith in a situation. And it also is guiding you towards a path where perhaps you and your masculine can find your way back to each other. Because it does seem here that something is coming back to life. This can, of course, represent a wish that can manifest for you. We also have the Nine of Cups, so that's really nice. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Justice card, and then we have the Three of Pentacles, which is perfect because the Three of Pentacles is working together, and that's exactly what's needed in this connection. And Nine of Cups, of course, a very nice energy, 
to be able to find fulfillment in your life when it comes to your love life, certainly. Both of these cards next to each other represent wish fulfillment. So that's really nice, Divine Feminine, if that actually manifests for you. And then you've got this amazing lineup where you've got the Wheel of Fortune right next to it. We've got three major arcanas that are popping up here. And so this is good karma for you, Divine Feminine. And this right here is about fairness and integrity, clarity, the truth, you know, karmic justice, balancing the scales. It could also be legal issues. Some of those legal issues could have been divorce or marriage or, of course, legal separations. It could also be other things, but I feel based off of what's going on here, for some of you, know, you know exactly what those legal issues are. But I'm also feeling perhaps if you're open to it, if the masculine is open to it, that there might just be this opportunity to really save this if you're both wanting that. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Empress. So Divine Feminine, you're coming through very strongly and perhaps you hold the key here, whether or not this can work. And you're coming through, of course, as a very empowered Divine Feminine. You have what it takes to bring in that abundance. And that certainly includes your love life and the connection with your masculine. Okay, so let's now go ahead and take a look at some future energies here for this connection and see what else we can learn. All right, guys, let's see what else needs to come through. I'm going to go ahead and pull from my heart and soul love oracle here. Future energies for the connection and for my singles. Definitely stick around. We're going to be doing singles messages shortly. All right, so for Capricorn, what else do we need to know here? For Capricorn, future energies. Unwavering belief. I love that considering we have seen references to having faith, you know, and uh, this says, I never gave up. I want you to know that even on the most difficult of days of missing you, I never gave up on us. I always knew that there would be a day when we'd find our way back to each other. And we are focusing on the future. So you might just be able to find your way back to one another. Next card is one. We only have one life. Fill it with your hopes, wishes, dreams, and goals. Whatever they may be, we only have one heart. Fill it with love, joy, happiness, fulfillment, contentment, and gratitude. We only have one love. The only one that truly has that one beating heart of yours cherish it. And I have a feeling if you relate to the messages that have come through for this reading, that's how you see each other, that you have found the one for you. You guys belong together, but somewhere along the line, you guys ran into some obstacles and challenges here. And then we have more. This is an interesting message coming through here. I was sure what we had wasn't the love I was looking for, that it was something that I could find with someone else who could offer me more, more love, more sex, more of everything I was looking for. Someone who had more, wanted me more, needed me more. Now there's nothing more I want than to come back to the someone who had it all to begin with. You. Is it too late? And you, the person watching this reading, you're the only one that can answer that question. Is it too late, you know, for this person to return, knowing full well that they made mistakes, you know, and maybe if this is a situation that's offered a second chance, it could certainly survive and be able to go the distance, but it starts with that one person who's able to give the other one the opportunity to return. And I can't help but feel, Divine Feminine, that that's you. You hold the key to be able to allow whoever represents the masculine in this equation the opportunity to come back. Okay, so let's see with some tarot what else we can learn. 
I'll be pulling from my Yummy Tarot this time. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, focusing on the future energies for this connection. Justice will be served. Balance will be restored. I really like how that is coming through, okay? We've got the Ten of Cups. We've got the Two of Cups. And we've got the Hierophant. Unbelievable. So if there were commitment issues, I feel that will be resolved. We clearly see the love here. The opportunity for somebody to commit to the partnership. Possible marriage or remarriage for some of you. If it's not that, then this is simply two people who are able to connect or reconnect and be truly happy together. We also have the High Priestess, the Feminine, coming in with the energy of the High Priestess, where you really are picking up off of your intuitive vibes that this can happen, that this can actually work itself out and be a victorious reunion for some of you guys. Look at this. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Cups. We have the Chariot. And we've got the Empress. Such beautiful cards coming through, focusing on the future here. All right, because we have a solid offer of commitment as well as the opportunity for a fresh start, a new beginning when it comes to love. Now, for some of you, you might not be interested in a reconciliation because they hurt you too deeply. This could simply be telling you that you're preparing for a new person to come in and a brand new relationship is on the horizon. We do have the chariot. You could also be connecting with a cancer for some of you. So there is movement here to be able to bring you the happiness that you're looking for, either through a reunion or a brand new chapter of your life. And this is going to impact you heavily, Divine Feminine, in a very positive way, I feel. But, you know, that could be a really good experience for the Divine Masculine as well. My goodness, that is beautiful. All right, so let's take a look at the next section. I wanted to grab some cards focusing on the harsh truth of the situation. So I'll be pulling from my Harsh Truth Oracle. And this is taking a look at the lessons that need to be learned or have already been learned either on your part, Capricorn, or the person that you are thinking about. So let me see here. I'm guided to pull four cards. All right, so let's do that. What are the lessons? What is the harsh truth that needs to be learned here? For Capricorn. Okay, we've got one, two, three, and four. Okay, so number one, don't dish it out if you can't handle the heat because you might be the one who gets burned. All right, so that's really good advice. Hopefully there's something there that makes sense for your life and experiences. It just wasn't meant to be, now move on. And it's true, that could apply to your love life, of course, but it could apply to other parts of your life. Friendships that have fallen out, you know, even connections with family, um, certain situations that could be very challenging. You you know if it's just not going to work, it's time to move on. Remember, it's their loss, not yours. Absolutely. So take that if you feel you have picked up off of that energy. Love makes us do stupid things sometimes, but you got to be smart enough to know when to stop. Yes. All right. So you don't have to keep getting yourself entangled in relationships where it could have been abusive, could have been codependent, um, somebody that just wasn't giving you everything that you deserved in the relationship, or if they were just investing half of their time with you, you'll know based off of your experience, of course. And this could be representing the past as well, you know, and it's time to really learn from that if you haven't already, and it's time to move on and experience better. This could also be the person that you are thinking about. 
So let's go ahead and clarify with some tarot once again. I'll be pulling from my Taniello tarot deck here. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at some singles messages here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Capricorn. The harsh truth lessons that need to be learned. I love this, actually, because no matter what you've been through, no matter what mistakes you feel you might have made in life, and again, this can apply to the other person, too, life is very forgiving, in a sense, and we have the opportunity to start again here. It's like turning a new leaf in order to be able to experience better through those lessons that have been learned. This makes sense too. So even though you've been hurt, just know that you will overcome those difficulties and challenges. You have been wounded. Take as much time as you need in order to be able to heal that part of you, you know, because if anyone's ever made you feel unworthy or unloved, it's time to move on from that, right? It's their loss, not yours. So this is really important. And going back to this one, love makes us do stupid things sometimes, but you got to be smart enough to know when to stop. Yes, to be able to heal this heart of yours, if that's something that you relate to. We do have a divine masculine coming in as the king of cups. So for those of you who have dealt with a masculine who could have been immature or they ended up hurting you, and they just didn't come forward as a really good partner. I feel this is their own growth. This is their own way of showing up for you. Perhaps realizing too that they lost you and wanting to do better. You know, I feel it's also really important for those of you who need to tap into this energy to do some soul searching. You could also be Virgo or have Virgo in your chart. I feel this is crucial to be able to come up with a plan for the future to be able to re regroup and really think of a different plan as to how to avoid the the bombshells of life so to speak you know to be able to avoid those trying situations and be able to experience better moving forward and look at that we've got the ace of cups so there really is new love for some of you or the opportunity at love with somebody that you want to reconcile with of course it could be coming through there and as long as you learn from where you've been and you're ready to make smarter choices when it comes to love then you will be able to succeed okay knight of cups very romantic you know, but there's something about proposals that's coming through here as well. Yes, you've already experienced some challenges. It could have been cheating. It could have been infidelity. It could have been third parties. But you're moving on from that. You're starting fresh. And as long as you continue to put in that effort and work into your relationships, in time you'll be able to reap those rewards and much better energies coming forward towards you to find happiness okay so i really like how that ultimately came forward there for you divine feminine here you are again all right so you're coming in as the empress all right so divine feminine energy i really love how that's coming through for you so just hang tight keep putting in the effort and the work towards yourself and i feel in time you'll be able to reap the rewards in love, in other parts of your life as well. All right, so that looks pretty darn good. All right, guys, so for my singles, thank you for waiting. And um, I forgot to mention in the beginning, I was going to timestamp these just to be able to make it easier for you guys to fast forward to this section to watch the singles portion. But hopefully you figure that out. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I combined a couple of alphabet decks, similar to what I do on TikTok, as well as my Instagram page, even here on YouTube, just to be able to offer little mini readings. And I love to pull letters that could be an indication of your name or, of course, the person you end up meeting. For some people, it could be individuals that are already in your life. You might not see them in a romantic way, but things can shift and change. 
It could be friendships that turn to love. It could, for some of you, be an ex-partnership that reaches out and you guys reconnect. So if it's something along those lines, maybe there's something in the letters and the zodiacs and the descriptions that we're able to pick up off of that. So let's see, Capricorn, for my singles. We are starting off with an L. We also have a U. We have O, R. This could actually, look at this, this could actually be Lou. That might be somebody's name there. Let's see. Let's grab some additional letters here. We have C. Oops, I've got a number in here. That's not supposed to be there. Let's see what else. Got mixed up. All right, we have a G. Let's grab a few more here. B. All right, what else for Capricorn singles? We have a T coming through. We also have D. We have K. Let's grab a couple more to even it out here. We have Z. And lastly, we have an M. All right, so my singles, that's coming through here for you. And so that could be giving you an indication of a person that you connect with. And you can always come back to this reading and watch it later on. Once you start dating somebody, there could be, you know, a name that's jumping out here. It could also be parts of your name that could be referenced here as well. If not necessarily spelling out a whole name, it could just be initials also. I'm also picking up Court or Courtney that's presenting itself here too. Hmm. All right. So if any of those names coming through or initials or letters. So let's go ahead and grab some Zodiacs here for you. For Capricorn. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Capricorn. So it's sun, moon, rising, or Venus for either of you. We do have Taurus. You could both be Earth signs. Look at that. We now have Virgo coming through. So all Earth signs represented here, since this is a Capricorn reading. Oh my God, look at that. And now there's Capricorn. So you could connect with another Capricorn and they could have a whole bunch of Earth energy. We also have Aries representing itself here. Look at that. We have double Taurus represented. Lots of Earth. Look at this. We've got double Aries coming through as well. Let me grab a couple more here. All right, so we've got Aquarius and one more. It's really interesting. And we've got Cancer. So double Taurus, double Aries. We've got Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Cancer. So those are the Zodiacs. Capricorn when it comes to a person that you might find you're very compatible with, okay? It could be any combination of those signs. So let's go ahead and grab some descriptions that might give you an idea of who's coming towards you, who's surrounding you. I'll be pulling from my Enlightened Mystery Oracle Volume 1 and 2. All right, so let's see who is coming towards you it could be several people and you simply need to be able to choose the one that feels right to you okay all right all right capricorn 
Your ideal mate will not take you for granted, which is always a nice quality. You will meet your ideal partner at a sports event. That could be something you have in common also, where you're just out and about, you know? Your future love is just around the corner. So this, for me, it reminds me of maybe a person you've already met. It could be a neighbor. It could be somebody that you work with or work around. It could be somebody that you run into. You might not know them, but you run into each other frequently, perhaps. Could be somebody that lives in your neighborhood or works where you work, something along those lines. But this for me is someone who's on their way to you. You know, this could be love that's really close. Your ideal mate will express his or her love through poems or songs. They could be very gifted in that way and have a very special talent in poetry and even songwriting. They could be a musician. You will meet your ideal partner when the sun is out. So that could be summertime or maybe where you live, the sun is always out. Or if it's always gloomy, it could be that one particular day that's sunny and you make that particular love connection. Oh, look at this. You could... You, your ideal mate could be a Capricorn, which we've already seen. So you guys could both be Capricorn Sun, for example. Your future love will sweep you off your feet. This could be an instant attraction, love at first sight. You will meet your ideal partner at the movie. So I feel, you know, when, when you're out and about and you could be hanging out with friends, with family, you're not sitting at home being miserable. You know, this is you living your life and you unexpectedly perhaps make a love connection. Let's grab a few more. You will meet your ideal partner when you least expect it. Okay, so it's one of those things where you loosen the reins a little bit and just allow life to unfold. Your person has a beard or a mustache. Let's grab two more. You will meet your ideal partner at your job. And I kind of felt that for some of you. Not necessarily working for the same establishment or organization or company. It could just be someone who works in the building, you know, or somebody that is in that area frequently. Something along those lines. One more. Your ideal mate has dark hair and brown or hazel eyes. Okay. So that could give you an idea of who it is that would make a very compatible match for you all right capricorn singles let's go ahead and grab some additional messages here i wanted to pull from if i can find that deck hold on one second what did i do with it oh it's right in front of me <laughs> all right i'm gonna pull from my dating scene oracle the good the bad and everything in between to give you an idea of who is surrounding you, who is coming towards you. Because not every single person that's romantically interested will be a good choice. So you need to be able to decipher who it is that you really choose and who it is that you would want to be able to explore a future with. All right, let's see here. For Capricorn. We've got, let's meet for coffee. This is somebody who's not ready for anything too serious, okay? So just go into it with your eyes wide open so that you know what it is that you're getting yourself into because there are some folks who just date and they're really not looking to commit. They're just having fun. It could be something like that. However, look at the next card here. We do have marriage material. And it's followed by eye contact and heart to heart, soul to soul. So we do have a situation here where it is love at first sight. You really perhaps fall madly crazy in love with this person. And there might even be an instant attraction. You feel connected in the heart space, in your soul. But we also have boring, no personality, dull disposition. So again, you're going to know who it is that you are really interested in and which of these connections just won't work for you. We also have arrogant self-absorbed. So we've got some nice qualities 
from maybe a particular someone here and you know you need to just be able to weed out the not so good ones all right so let's go ahead and clarify this with some tarot to wrap it up and i'll be pulling from my luna tarot angels and spirit guides please for capricorn singles Very nice. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Four of Wands. For some of you, this might actually represent a twin flame connection. This could represent marriage. This could represent starting a family, sharing a home together. This is somebody who's not afraid of commitment. This is somebody that could ultimately make you very happy. So that's really nice. Whatever it is that you have experienced in the past, especially the not so pleasant ones, this is telling you that it's not even worth thinking about that. Three of Wands, it's looking ahead of you. You know, what is ahead of you is more important than where you've been because you can't change anything about the past at this point. Let's see what else here. What else? What else? Divine Feminine, you're coming in as the Queen of Swords. So as we've seen, there could be scenarios that present itself to you and they're not ready for commitment. You find that you guys aren't compatible. You don't get along. They're arrogant. So I feel especially for my feminines, you're not going to waste any time with people like that and you're just going to move on. You're going to cut them out and move on. We do have five of swords, so just be mindful of connections that you do make where you guys are just not on the same level. You're not seeing eye to eye. Maybe there's not a whole lot that you have compatibility-wise, and it creates more conflict than anything. So those are the scenarios to stay away from because there is this ten of cups where you will simply know that that's the one. It fits you like a glove. You guys just make sense. So it does say fairy tale ending right here, and you can have that, but you need to be able to weed out the bad, you know what I mean, in order to get to the good. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave that for Capricorn singles. You definitely have some good things coming your way. You just need to be able to navigate yourself away from the not so good prospects. All right, guys, so I'll leave that there. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box. And we've also now created Twitter and Twitch accounts, so definitely follow us there if you're interested. We do live streams, obviously, here on YouTube, but we've also started on Twitch. So we'll be announcing those more frequently throughout the upcoming weeks to be able to help build our community on Twitch. And so I am planning on doing very similar love forecasts there and giving you guys the opportunity to get your own personal mini readings while I'm live on air. Um, so definitely watch out for those announcements on the community tab, as well as on my Instagram page. All right, guys. So that's it for now. Thank you again for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, comment if you'd like, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.